Hey guys, this is Elite's front cover. She is a registered and certified Rocky Mountain mare. Um, I will have her pictures of her papers posted. Uh, that way you'll know exactly uh, her date of birth and all that. But I'm going to tell you off the top of my head, I think she's, I think she's coming eight or either eight or coming eight this year. I know this filly majority of her life. I met her when she's a three year old. Um, her owners are good friends of mine. Uh, I've done some training for them back in the day, broke a little colt for them, and uh, they brought this filly over one day and wanted to use Marine practice with. And she was a three year old then, and uh, man, she was just unreal. I, I really loved her back then. So I've known her for years. They showed her, <coughs> they was beginning to show her at that time as a three year old, and they did show her uh, in Rocky Mountain. I think they took her to some Kentucky Mountain shows as well and done excellent with her. She's she's tough. She's she's hard to beat in the show ring. She's won a pile of stuff. Um, I will have all of her ribbons, all of her trophies, and all of her awards and all that, and big announcements. I'll have all that stuff on uh, on her on the page or whenever whenever I get her all listed. Uh, but off the top of my head, I can't tell you. It's just a bunch of stuff. I think she's a two-time Sam Tuttle Award winner, but. I'll have to, like I said, again, I'll have to confirm all that, but I know she's won a pile of stuff. They sent me so much stuff on this horse that she's won, I can't keep track of it. But anyway, this mare has excellent, excellent training on her. Uh, her owner is a professional horse trainer, been a professional horse trainer probably longer than I have. Uh, I know she has absolutely been a show trainer longer than me. Um, she shows a lot of horses, so just I just want you to know that she has been professionally trained. She's not been ever been ridden by anybody other than a trainer and, and, and the trainer's husband. Uh, he's won a lot on her too. I think he was a beginner, if I'm not mistaken, uh, when he started on, on this filly. Anyhow, she's a good filly, guys. Good mare now. Um, I keep calling her filly, but she's a good mare. She stands 15 hands tall. She got a keg shooting on full feet. You got an 18 minute video of her up doing obstacles and stuff like that. And she's completely barefoot and on full feet in that video. Um, she has new shoes on. I put new shoes on her today. Today's Wednesday, May the whatever, like the 15th, I think. Uh, whatever date's close to Wednesday there. 15th, 16th, 14th, somewhere in there. I think it's the 15th, but anyway. Uh, put new shoes on her, and this is her first ride with the new shoes. You're going to see her go, and you're you're going to say, well, she don't look like she's going like she was in them pictures. The pictures, and this, this mare was shown, uh, she was real flashy, real stylish going. Um, that is because she was ridden up and trained, uh, conditioned, and ridden a lot, okay? Uh, she has been sitting for a little while, uh, obviously out of shape. She's fat as mud, uh, just needs to be conditioned. Absolutely, it broke for anybody and everybody, beginners, kids, whatever. If you got a young kid looking to get, uh, get in the show ring, get started in show ring, Right here, she wanted to put them in the with the blue. Right here, she is, guys. Uh, she's got a she's won confirmation uh, uh, championships and stuff like that. I can't remember what all. Like I said, she'll park out. You you just get up in front of her and ask her to park out. She'll stretch out there. She'll she'll come way down if you want her to. She is just fancy. Um, got all the paperwork in hand, and everything. Why is she for sale? That's the number one question I always get. Why is she for sale, Emerson? Well, it's a sad situation. I I, I really. This really breaks my heart. Like I said, these are my friends. Um, these are really close people to me. They're friends of mine. And it's sad, but their house burnt. I hope they don't mind me telling this, but their house burnt in a fire, obviously. <laughs> but their house burnt. And her original papers was burned up in that fire too. But they're guaranteeing you to get a new set of papers with a certified stamp and all that in the new owner's name, okay? Where well, all that's guaranteed, it's coming. The owner will guarantee that. Um, she is registered and certified. Got the gold seal and all, Rocky Mountain. Um, I'm not sure she's registered Kentucky Mountain or not. If she ain't, she can be. That ain't no problem. Um, but she is guaranteed coming in papers. As you can see, she'll walk all day on a loose rein. Now, this mare, this mare has, a, has a heart of gold. She's got a lot of heart to her. But she's the same. Like I said, she's also kid broke. She's, she's been trained very well. She'll walk out here on a loose rein. Uh, I can collect her up and give her a little spur and she'll come on down the road with me. Uh, really got a real good gait to her. She'll cover a lot of ground with you if you want her to, if that's your cup of tea. 
And if it ain't, if you want, if your cup of tea is to sit here and walk around this loose rain like I am and just drink your coffee and look around and enjoy the scenery, that's what you can do. You got any, any choice you want to do out there, here comes the car, that's okay. So let this car come out on around me, let him go on. Keep the video on me. Now, this might have been sitting a little while. She's the kind you can do that with. You don't matter. Hello, buddy. You can leave her set as long as you want to. She'll be the same horse. She'll go get her back out. She has raised one foal. Um, he's beautiful, big, stout, thick foal. Uh, good mama. All that, guys. He's just a plum good man. Anyway, they uh, they need the money. Their house burnt. And a lot of people say, well, they got insurance. But they didn't have no insurance, guys. They, they need the money. The only reason they're selling this horse. It's a rare case you'll see somebody selling one because they need the money. They just need the money. And I wish... I wish that uh, I could just give them the money and they could keep the horse, but unfortunately, I, that ain't the case. Um, I really hate that they're selling their horse. We all have, or I don't know if you all have, but I sure have. I've sold a lot of horses in my day that I've had to just because I needed the money. But uh, I'm going to show you a little gate right here. Step her on up. she got all kinds of gears. We're going to start off slow, and we're going to move on up to all the big gears. There's a little, what I call like a little country trail gate. We're going to turn it around. Oh, turn around. That thing sounds bad. We got to turn around right here, guys. I know it's been a boring. Are you still recording? I know it's been boring, guys. Just bear with me here. We're going, we're going to get to the point here. We're going to show her off. I just want to talk to you a minute about her. Can't drive a lick. That's my son driving that. Kind of like the axle's going to have that thing. Anyway, I'm going to show you all the little gates right here. I'm going to ask you to go just a little bit right here. Look how smooth that is. Now, from a walk, to the slowest gate, you've seen that. There's no, absolutely no bounce. We're gonna do it again. Oh, go well, from a walk. No bounce in this mire. Loose ring walk. All right, I'm gonna pick her up on that. Barely squeeze her my leg. Cut there. There's a little gate. There's no bouncing. No roughness. She's super, super smooth. I'm gonna ask her for another gear. I'm going to ask her for a little more. When, every time I tell you I'm asking her what I'm doing, I'm just squeezing her one time on my legs. Give her a little squeeze and release. I'm going to ask her for a little more. Slow down just a little. There you go. Right there. Right there. Let him look at her. There you go. Look at that full beat gate. Hold her right there. Can you see her good, Moses? Look at that little gate on her, guys. Want a little more? See what you can do. Might have found me a new Komodo driver. That's Braden, my, old, my middle son. I'm driving. He's doing a good job. A little more. I'm going to burn it right down the walk. Let's stop. Let me get a little mire, guys. Hope. Watch ya. Keep on going. Go. Go. Drive, honey. The hardest part of them understanding that thing is drive. See you tomorrow. He's leaving. I'm adding pressure to my left leg. Put pressure on my right leg. Look at her go. Sorry, guys. If you can't see, he's almost 100 yards in front of me. You don't realize it. I'm back here. 
Anybody looking to, for a full-time position in driving a Kubota, message me. You see her working off my leg there, folks? Very soft. I'll do it again. We'll put a little pressure on my right leg. Pressure on my left leg. I want to hit the Kubota. I ought to get it in front of him and see what he can do about that. I'm going to run into him. I want to hit him. Alright, I'm going to have to stop me to get up front. Then, of course, he won't go. Oh, have mercy. Sorry, guys. Boy, if I can ever get me a good driver. Thank the cameraman. He's doing all right. I like playing around with it with my legs. Got a good little canter to her. The EWH, though. Now he caused me to get wet, it's raining. Y'all, it's pouring. That'd be all right. Soaking wet, boy. Go get drowned, Dad. Go. Woo! It's raining now. Get drowned, son. Get in. Get in. We're done. Thank you.